can happen faster than love at first sight. You're doing the dishes or washing your hands in the sink and your wedding ring slips off your soft soap finger, goes straight down the drain. Don't panic, married folks. The symbol of your eternal love isn't lost for all eternity. In most cases, retrieving your wedding ring or some other precious trinket from your plumbing is something most any homeowner can handle. Trust me, if I can do it, you can do it. Before you get cold feet, let's take the plunge together. Here are these five steps to retrieving your ring from down the drain. Step one, turn off the water. You'll likely have the faucet running when your ring slips off. So you want to shut off the water as quickly as possible to prevent your ring from finding its way further into your plumbing. Step two, grab a bucket and a light. Uh, you're going to want to place a bucket underneath the P-trap here to catch whatever comes out. Now, everything that goes into your faucet collects right here, so expect it to be disgusting. Step three, remove the pipe. Now, loosen the pipe connectors, which you'll likely be able to do by hand, and pull down. Water sitting in the pipe will drain out into your bucket and ideally your ring along with it. It's possible you'll need a wrench to loosen the stubborn pipe connectors. Just be sure to hold the pipe to prevent it from falling off as you loosen the fittings. Your P-trap may also have an access plug, in which case you'll just need to pull the stopper out and let it drain, again, hopefully along with your ring. If for some reason your ring doesn't come out, it may not have made it to the bend in the pipe. In this case, you can use a wire coat hanger to push it down from the drain in the sink basin. Conversely, if your ring made it too far into your plumbing, you'll likely want to call in a pro. Step four, putting it all back together. Putting everything back together is just as easy as taking it apart. Take this opportunity to clean out any of that nasty gunk that's built up in your pipe. Then put the pipe back into position and screw it back into place. And step five, look for leaks. You do not want to end up with water leaking from an insufficiently tightened pipe. So what you want to do is run the faucet and then look to see if there's any water dripping out. Now all that's left to do is get rid of the evidence. I, I mean, clean and polish your ring back to its original shine like the gleam in your eye when you first met your spouse. And there you have it. Your ring and your marriage are safe.